Uh, we're very excited to talk about this company because once again, a company that is shaking things up a little bit and uh, making us think a little bit about um, maybe our data, security, the way we share content, what content we're sharing and when we're sharing it. Um, a little bit more specifically, uh, Mike Potter, co-founder of Rewind.io. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Carla. You're welcome. Um, Mike, if I can maybe take that from you and let's, let's find a little bit more. Firstly, we've got to understand what this company really does. Um, we know it has to do with the cloud. We, have to know, we know it has to do with uh, e-commerce. We know it has to do with data. We know it's security. But how does all these things come together? So maybe you can give us a little overview. Yeah, sure. So Rewind is a cloud backup application for, for SaaS applications. So you know, you're using Shopify or Big Commerce online. We're a backup for individual store owners. So not a lot of people realize that store owners don't have access to the data that Shopify or Big Commerce or you know, WordPress are backing up for them in those online platforms. So you're putting all your data into your Shopify store or your Big Commerce store, uh, all your products, all your product images. Shopify and BigCommerce are backing up that data themselves, but if something happens to your store data, your individual store data, they don't, you don't have the ability as a store owner to go in and, and access that data. So if somebody goes in and deletes your products or changes your theme or messes around with your store, or you accidentally delete your blog posts, there's no way for you to recover that data. And so what Rewind is doing is it's giving the power back to this shop owner to be able to take control of their data. Um, we back it up securely. Uh, and safely in a third-party system, and then if something happens to their store, they can come in, they can rewind you know, an individual item back to a previous version or rewind their whole store back to the way it was before they had a problem. Okay. Very interesting. Now, I, I want to ask you, I mean, once again, we're fortunate we're here uh, in a city where we have a big company like Shopify that's once again made us pay more attention to e-commerce than ever before. Why did you feel that there was an opportunity for you to fix this need? Why did you think that this was, so I guess, how did this come to fruition, the whole concept? Yeah, so um, I'm a big backup believer. I've, I used to work for Adobe. I've lost uh, hard drives many times, uh, once doing a keynote talk in front of about 300 people and, and my hard drive completely crashed. So I've, I've experienced the pain and I'm a big believer in making sure that your data is backed up. Um, when we looked around and we, you know, we wanted to get into the backup space and, and, and start a backup application, naturally Shopify was one of the first places we looked for because of you know, the explosive growth that they're going through. Um, but we also looked in the forums and saw that you know, people were posting questions like, how do I back up my data? How do I recover my data? What happens? I just deleted my products or I just deleted my blog. How can I get them back? Um, and there wasn't really a good answer for them. The, the, you know, the typical answer was you should have, you should have exported it uh, before you had the problem, basically, and, and saved all your data. Uh, so we took a look at Shopify's help page, and, and they had a, a document that explained how to back up your store, uh, but it required about 14 to 16 steps, you know, manual steps, like copy and paste, paste this text over here and save this image here and do all that stuff. And we said, you know, these are small, medium-sized business owners. These are not they're not going to spend the time doing this work that they need to do in order to recover their data. So when we looked at that, we said, okay, well, there's an opportunity here to, to put an app in Shopify's app store and see if we can get some traction. And you know, we threw it up, I think it was, it's been about two years now since we first launched Rewind. And the first month we had a few dozen installs and it just kept growing and growing and growing to the point where we've been able to make it a full-time business now. Oh, fantastic. So maybe we can find a little bit more. Um, uh, you as a company, um, what, how do you see this, you're in, you're in this realm, the backup of data, I'm, I'm sure once again, this is an opportunity to educate individuals on how important this is. Uh, people are definitely jumping into more online stores. They are selling more products online than ever before. Um, how important is it that people really understand to back up this data? I mean, once again, you've kind of explained what that looks like, but what do you feel is necessary within the industry and maybe what's your goal as a company to really make that education easier for people to understand it, easier get that content out there, get the, um, get the information out there so people know what that's all about. What's kind of your, your goal in that aspect of things? Yeah, I think, so our biggest, I think our biggest issue from a company perspective is that most people, when they think of the cloud, they think, oh, my data is safe up in the cloud. And so the biggest challenge that we have is trying to explain the difference between your data being backed up at a 
global level and you having individual access to that data, right? And so like I explained before, like for somebody like Shopify, Shopify backs up their data, you know, big commerce backs up their data. And as we move into other platforms like QuickBooks and WordPress, these, these platforms all back up their data. It's a question of whether you as, a, as an account owner or a store owner have the ability to go in and recover your own data and get access to it. And that's really what, what we're providing. So we look at it like we're providing the you know, data freedom. We're, we're freeing your data from you know, any constraints that you might be under from the provider that you're working with, whether it's Shopify or BigCommerce or WordPress or QuickBooks or whoever. And we're giving you the ability to control your data and control what happens to that data and how it's stored and, and how it can be recovered. Um, that's our. I think our biggest challenge though, is explaining that that slight nuance and difference because, you know, we're good partners with all of these platforms that we're backing up. We're great partners with Shopify. We love Big Commerce. Um, we're moving very quickly to be backing up QuickBooks Data in a few weeks. You know, we're big fans of all these platforms, and we're not trying to. We want to make sure that people understand that the data at a global level is backed up. You know, it's it's a lot to move from a desktop application to the cloud. There's a lot of trust that has to happen. Um, in moving that data, and we, we don't want people to think that the cloud isn't safe, um, and so what we have to find is that little sort of that, that 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 situation that we can explain that says, okay, you know, you don't you don't control your data, right, and and you don't have the ability to go into that backup and recover that data. We had a customer uh, a few years ago at Christmas time. He had an app that integrated in with the Shopify store, and the app deleted all of his products a few weeks before Christmas, like busiest shopping time of the year. Um, they were expecting something, you know, on his store that didn't exist, and the integration just wiped out all of his products. And we were able to come in with our rewind backup and restore his whole entire store. We've had customers that have deleted, accidentally deleted their entire blogs, like all their blog posts, for instance, and we were able to recover those blog posts and things like that. So we've got really good customer stories, and we're trying to highlight those stories to explain to people you know, the difference, but like I said, difference between Shopify having your data backed up or BigCommerce having your data backed up and you having access to that backup so that you can rewind something if something happens. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, once again, it's not just the fact that it's uh, revenue that can get lost, but SEO value and, and, the, and it's just the online cloud that your company has built can be lost so quickly. So, and so many times now, these big e-commerce platforms, it's not just a shop anymore. It is a website. It's a shop with a website. So it really is your whole company. So that, that backup is quite significant. So maybe I can ask you, we think the process, I think the whole idea with Rewind, that I was to make the process simple as well. Maybe you can kind of give us an idea of what that process would usually look like. What, is a, what does a client have? What do they need to do to work with you guys? And how does it work from that? Yeah, you're, so simplicity is definitely one of the core values that we've got. Um, there are no settings in Rewind. So when you install Rewind, it just starts working right away. So there's no settings. You don't pick, you know, we've had customers ask us, can I pick what's being backed up? No, you can't pick what's being backed up. Can I pick the time that it's being backed up? I can I, no, you can't pick the time. that There's literally no settings for you to run. What we took inspiration from was something like Time Machine for the Mac, where you plug in a hard drive and it starts copying all your data onto that Time Machine. As changes happen, they get reflected in the Time Machine, but you don't have to ever you know, run a backup, if you will. It just happens as you're working. Uh, and that's what happens with Rewind. As you're going through and making changes to your store, we're automatically tracking those changes. We're saving those new versions of items as they go, as they go, um, and then giving you the ability to say, oh, you know, I've messed up. I need to go back to a previous version or I've accidentally lost multiple things. I need to rewind back um, something to, you know, uh, yesterday at three o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. So, um, but yeah, definitely simplicity and trying to make it as simple as possible. Like I said, these are, for the most part, they're small, medium-sized business owners, right? So they don't have, they don't have a lot of time. They don't need things that are complex. Um, it, we think it's the simplest app to use for Shopify, um, certainly in terms of getting started, because there's really nothing more you need to do than just simply install the application and then it starts working. Um, and we've really focused on trying to make it as easy as possible so that people can take control of their own data. Fantastic. Now, Mike, maybe you can share with us uh, the, the question we always like to ask. What's what's kind of the next step for you as a company? Where would you like to go and how would you like to grow? And, you know, what does the future look like? Yeah, so, I mean, things are going very, very well for us. We're growing um, extremely quickly. We're growing anywhere between, you know, 15 to 20 percent month over month. So we're doubling every, you know, four to five, six months sort of thing. Um, so we're currently six people in total. 
uh, will be nine by the end of the year. We'll probably double that again next year to finish the year somewhere around 18 to 20 people. Um, we're going to expand out to other online platforms. So, you know, we've already talked about QuickBooks, for instance. Um, we've got a prototype of QuickBooks backups working already. We've had customers request Zero, which is another online accounting platform that started in Australia. So we're going to move to Zero and back up that data. We've had customers request MailChimp and WordPress backups. So those are things that we look at in 2018, and we say there's a couple of platforms with, you know, tens of millions of users on them each um, that we can back up that data. Um, and then we'll see where it goes, to be honest with you. We've, we've taken the approach where the customers will tell us what to do next, right? We started with Rewind um, for Shopify, and then BigCommerce came and asked us if we could bring Big Commerce, uh, Rewind to BigCommerce, which we did. We had customers ask us about Zero and QuickBooks integration, which is why we moved to that platform next. Um, we've also built another application called Replay, because uh, we had a lot of customers asking, can I back up from one store and then restore it into another? I basically want to duplicate my store. So we built another app called Replay that allows you to do that, that allow you to sort of take one store and copy it into another store. Um, so we'll see where, you know, where it takes us, but we're growing, we're growing really, really quickly. Growth is accelerating month over month. Um, so we're doing, you know, every month that we do is the best month that we've ever done in terms of net new revenue and, and customers. So, you know, I'm, I don't really know what we're going to be doing next year, but I know we'll be backing up more platforms. And then eventually we want to make use of the data that we have that's backed up, right? So we have access to all your Shopify store data that you can get access to. Anything that's available through the API, we're taking that data and we're backing it up. So we could analyze your site for SEO recommendations. We could look at your product images and say that they should be reduced in file size because they're too big and it's going to affect your page load speed. We can, uh, you know, we can monitor your store. We, we had like that customer we talked about earlier that had, you know, all their products deleted at Christmas time. They had to contact us when those products were deleted, but the system, we actually knew that those products were deleted. So in the future, maybe we could be more proactive and say, did you know that your store just had all of its products deleted? Like, was that on purpose? And we could notify you and you might be able to respond back with a message and say, you know, yeah, bring those back. That's not on purpose. Or did you know that, you know, all of these changes were just done to your theme? Um, and so, you know, it's basically going through going through those sorts of scenarios and listening to our customers and saying, okay, what are the things that, you know, we can do to help you run your business more effectively? And what platforms are you using so that we can help make sure that your whole business is backed up? Yeah, I mean, that's, that sounds like you're this, this uh, e-commerce watchdog that'll help them to really like, once again, not only protect them, but also help them make it more efficient and then integrate it with their actual online shop. That, that's amazing. So Mike, thank you very much for showcasing a little bit what Rewind.io is doing. For those of you that just joined us here, this is Techopia Live. I'm here with the co-founder of Rewind.io, Mike Potter. Thank you so much for taking the time today, explaining this a little bit more. So for those of you that want to get some more information, make sure you go check out Rewind. .io. For more information, it's so simple. The installation is so simple, especially if you're e-commerce shop, especially with uh, um, big commerce or even Shopify. Get in there, find a little bit of how it works, and we wish you nothing but the best. And we look forward to seeing you grow. And so, once again, proud to have an Ottawa-based company. And I know you guys are right here at the Innovation Center at Bayview Yards. So we look forward to to the time when we don't see you here, when you have a big, big office as big as this, uh, and doing more and great things. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, guys.